today we've got a cup final. We've got transfers, you know, normal Florence Dorfer insanity. I, we, we have a little bit of transfer interest in our team. And by that, I mean, basically everybody in our team that's under the age of 25 has transfer interest in them. So I expect a, a modicum of chaos. Uh, a dose of man management, a dash and a dipsy do of variety. Uh, but we start the stream with a cup final as well. So we've got to keep perspective on that. We have an opportunity to be the kings of Austria. Yeah, not all. Linus Balkvist, Daryl Linehan, Joe Hodge, uh, and Pablo Rodriguez do not have transfer interest. Uh, and to be fair, neither does Noah and Bamba, but he's also over 25. Everybody else, though. Everybody else, though, does have that. Yeah, game one is literally, not even figuratively, a cup final. If we lose this, I'm shaving my head. So against the second division team, who somehow miraculously beat Rapid Vienna in the semifinal. And they have made it here. You know what? I'm okay with that. I, there's no world in which I would regret saying that. No world in which I would regret saying that. Zero. We are too good. All right. Valkvist is going to start. Yield is, is going to start. Um, we do have Devletchen and Axel Perez off the bench if we need it. And apparently my hair is on the line with this one. We have threatened to shave our head if we lose this game. We are playing a second division team. I just said we. I always say we because it's always like a team, but it is really I that I threatened to shave my head if we lose this game because we're going to win this game. All right, a cup final. We are captainless, but we do have Fernando Novaish, who's apparently an excellent leader to lead the boys out of the tunnel. Linus Valkvist and Yildiz aren't sharp, but they will be fine. Here we go. He's behind the ball now. Even what is that? Red, red, ref, ref. Yes! Take that! Aha! There's been a red card, but for who, Chris Kamara? That dude! That that one right there! I don't know who he is, because he plays the second division team. But get him off! Oh no, if I lose this, I'm shaving my head. Which, like. No. I would look like a being from outer space. We can't do that to society. Yield this! Dude, score the ball. We might just take Noah Mbamba off at halftime, not because he's bad, but because we want a different type of player in that spot. Nice. Henneman. Sander. Garzon. Sander, what a touch! Yeah! Yes! Silky touch. Silky go from the teenager. special it's literally 10 guys from the second division yield is i want to save oh. it is one nil right now against admiral wacker moodling in the austrian cup final the samsung cup final got a sponsor the fa final of course i'll let you oh 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 ref! oh 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 so bad Look, look, I didn't think we agreed to this one. I didn't think, we, look, how much do you want? I mean, seriously, just like, could. You're running up a tab here. Can I give you an IOU? I mean, that's, there you go. That's all I got. I mean, the red was sus, the penalty was sus. Everything has been sus for us in this game. That be, I mean, we've also dominated the game, but. That's actually gonna count. He's onside, even though he's just standing right in front of it, so he gets to head it in. Shambolic stuff here. Shambolic stuff. He's like, <laughs> he's like piggybacking a defender into the goalkeeper and then just hence the deflected shot in. How much do you pay the ref? You saw it. I mean, that's at least like, 30 bucks of American money. I think it's like 50 bucks of euros and like 30 bucks of 
pounds. So I didn't really know what he wanted. So we gave him a little bit of everything. No, no way. What a great save. That's our first shot of the match. Hey, YouTube. We weren't saying anything about you. Nothing at all. Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? Guys, shh. YouTube's back. Shh. Shh. Sorry. The, the recording just stopped for a second. We brought it back and everybody was just saying hi to YouTube while you were gone. Hello, YouTube. How you doing? We're in a cup final and we got three minutes left to glory and two and 20 seconds but we might score on this corner to uh, just ice the cake turbulence has never hit the target in his life who am i kidding yes give me the trophy give me the freelancer do it all at once we're the cup champions of austria History. Congratulations to everybody. Liam Devlin, thank you for the tier one. Hunter, thank you for the prime. We now, as per tradition, will celebrate by dumping water on top of our head in front of a lot of expensive electronics. Let's do it. You gotta celebrate every trophy you win. And we have won the LFB Cup for a stunning third time in a row. We haven't even won the league three times in a row. We own the cup now. We own it. It was the first sign of our dominance. Away to Salzburg, and then at home against Altus Reindorf, we are rotating like crazy. That's disgusting. At least we've already won the league. <laughs> Jan, Jean Trujillo. I love Jean Trujillo. I want to give him all the playing times. I want to give him all the playing time. I want to, I want to give you the world. Something and something and something. Oh, that is so good. Great combo, Garzon. Then the second wave, and it's Axel Perez. Oh. Axel freaking Perez. Compared to the ODFC team, where do you think this team is right now? 
this team is right around that level now. Absolutely. We've had a really explosive growth over the last two years. But I think compared to that team, even though, you know, scouting is harder in this game, um, I think we're right at that level. Oh, great give and go. What a touch. Poor favor. Ooh, that's on. Good first half. We just didn't score. actually don't have to make a sub but you can just drop him bomba move him there yeah that's this is kind of funny we don't actually have to make a substitution we can just move Noah and bomba to the back line all righty go run run gavin yes gavin i can do this all day he's got wheels now you can like hear him. Meow. Pio. Drop Garzon, move you back up. I work. I like Nazareno. And it allows us to move Noah and Bomba up to that defensive spot again. Given from the parking lot. Oh. Mama. Run. Run, Xander. You're too fast. Oh, and it's Given. It was even easier in his first goal. It was freaking easier in his first goal. I am startled by how much we've dominated this game after the red card. What a ball! No shot! I need angles. I need angles. Look at this ball. First time from Novaish. Right into Given. Who takes it first time because he has tries first time shots, but like. It's so classy from us. That is an exceptional. Exceptional win. What a match. Saw plenty of good things out there today. We won on the road in Der Oosterreich Classic. It's a great result. Rapid Vienna is all but clinched their second spot in the league. They were by far the second best team in the league. They gave us problem after problem after problem this season. We barely survived them each time we played them. Same could not be said for the former Kings Salzburg, though. We have, uh, we have really run past them, and so is Rapid Vienna, which surprises me. Good result for you against head coach you were, uh, you were admiring before the match. Another focus on the match itself. We're going to rotate a little bit. We're going to rotate a little bit for the vibes, for the peeps. We've had a couple of tough matches in a row. Dude, what? There he is. Sjör van der Plaas can play left back. Give me... Somebody get me Sjör van der Plaas, our wonder kid of the future, please. He's so incredibly young and so incredibly either-footed, and I'm so incredibly in love with him that it's just it's overwhelming sometimes. Okay. Uh, Volkvis back... Bube denied. Look, you know, you got to earn your records. And this is a match where we want Kevin Quintana to get experience. I want Quintana to be loaned out next year. Yield is top shelf. Oh. Come on. Come on, Vanderplus. Dude, we just got cooked. Easter. No chance. Fullback's open. Fullback is open. It's deflection. Every single pass to every single other player in the box was better than laying that back to Yildiz right there. Sabi Puck. What a ball. Yildiz. Oh, and it's in. I have. 
have no idea how. But we've scored. It's Diego Quintero. And it's 1-1 at the Easter. Wittiat and Sami Park to yield ease. It's fumbled and Quintero is there. Yo, Z got COVID, but your streams and vids make it less of a pain for me. Thank you. You're welcome. Glad I could help. We finally hit the target. First goal. I think it's his first goal for the club. Yes. It uh, can provide that feeling. It can provide the excitement. Oh, what a shot. Dude. Dude. me I would break my keyboard what is that just insanity oh is he on no okay good if I had to sum up FM in one picture it might be this let me get out of the way it might be that this might be the best way to sum up football manager in one picture my entire team is eight miles off, except they're not because one dude is just hanging out over there. What is that? What is that? That is, that is honestly so bad. I mean, we've seen that happen, I think, once or twice before. Right? But that is so bad. The debut and final appearance of team mentor Dara Linehan. His career at Florensdorfer has not gone the way that perhaps he would have wanted it to. But he has mentored so many a young player. Oh, that's a penalty. Well, this Ref. is just unnecessary. Where's Given when you need him? Should have been Linehan. It should have been Linehan. You know what? Boo! 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 His coach sucks! Boo! Boo! Should have been Linehan. He's an affiliate club, and that'll be your affiliate club for marketing. Uh, Japan or the U.S.? Honestly, I would go U.S. I think it's got better market in the game than Japan. Good win. Great performance by uh, Daryl Linehan, of course. Sarah Vanderplaus, the fat 6.5. Can't all be great. And I'm happy we got the win. You know, we just broke the record for most wins in a season by the club. That's awesome. Ibrahimovic is winning a lot of plaudits for his perceived overachievement with Lask. What is going on? We have been managing against Zlatan the whole year. He's been at Lask. A team that was just promoted to the top flight of the Austrian League. There is no chance. He's doing a wonderful job. He's doing a wonderful job. I, I want to praise him. I do not want to make Zlatan mad at me. I'll be honest. So we've got Benegas, Falkvist, Vanderplas, Garzon, Yildiz, Aliyu, Sander Hinneman. Yep. Yeah. All right. Showtime, baby. Pablo Rodriguez wearing the captain's armband out on the field for maybe the last time. Put the pressure on. Ali B. Bay starts again, and Rodriguez is back in the field. One of the legends of the team. One of the legends of this team, Pablo Rodriguez, the captain for many a year, is finally really fallen out of the rotation for the first time this season in a contract year, so he will be leaving at the end of the season. Pablo. Clean play. Great ball. That was Pablo. That was Pablo Rodriguez. How about Trujillo? Oh, he's on. Given, given Marquez. He wanted a classy goal to break the overall goal scoring record for the club. All right, Given. There it is. 
No, no way. Rats. He's going to break it on a penalty. Peven Parkage is back. Oh, he's going to break it on a penalty. No, no, no. You know what? No, no, he's not. I'm not going to. No, that's not how this happens. Where's my boy? Where is Pablo? There you go. Give me Pablo. Give me Pablo Rodriguez. Pablo's like a few goals away from breaking the overall club league goal scoring record. Hey! His eighth goal of the year. He's not breaking it on a penalty. Sure. Vanderplas. Oh, bring it down. Yes. Devletchen. Around the cycle. It's Given. It's Devletchen. It's still Devletchen. It shouldn't have been Devletchen. Oh, dear God. Oh my goodness, Sir Vanderplas, what a play. Pablo, Yildiz, it's Christian Yildiz! The Youth Academy product with the sauce. Problem is, Pablo's not like an amazing mentor. His mentals were always okay at best. So he, uh, he as much as he might deserve to be the next mentor, we can't do that. Very nice victory, great result. 2-0, composed, Osamo Gamal's through the roof. Motivated and inspired by his first full 90 minutes in a league win. But that's that's a good effort. We've broken the league wins record. We already did that. Nova East was stellar with an 8.1. Uh, 60th league goal made him the... Hey, yes, he got it! Wow! 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 His 60th league goal made him the all-time record scorer in the league for Florence Dorfer AC. That's an incredible achievement, isn't it? I didn't know he was tied. He was tied for it right then. And we gave him the penalty to break it. I know Pablo would like to stress how much the record's down to the support and unselfish play of his teammates, but he is now the all-time record holder. Yeah, most league goals by a player is now Pablo Rodriguez. Overall, over the course of his career, it is Pablo Rodriguez with 60 goals. Austrian squad decided. Cool. Let's make some kids cry. Okay. Tolga Shaheen or Vessel Dimaku is probably a question we're going to have to answer. Marcus Arling. Who's getting better. He's on loan at St. Gallen. He's our player. Yeah, he's good. Arling's going. Marcus Arling is made. We've. The Dorfers have a player going to the World Cup with Austria. Marcus Arling. We are going to bring Tolga and Shaheen to the World Cup. And there's one spot left. Okay, so there's a couple of arguments in my head here. One. We look to play a five at the back system at certain points of this World Cup. I think we could do it. We've got a lot, a lot of good center backs that we can throw out there. David Nemeth would be the call up at that point. The other option is we provide depth in the midfield. That would be either Vessel Dimaku, who is an old, reliable player for us, or Christian Eildes, the young, exciting passer. Or we provide depth up front, and that would be the fastest player we have here, Simon Auer, and we bring him to the World Cup. Those are the three options. Those are the three options we have. This is Simon Auer. He is pacey. He runs with the ball well. He is not a great goal scorer. He would be playing a little bit out of position in our system, but he has broken through in the Bundesliga with Nuremberg. He had a good season and is certainly very close to being in the World Cup squad. Simon Auer. <sighs> then there's Christian Yildiz, our player. Played 20 matches in, or 19 matches in the Austrian League this season at a 7.04. Two goals, four assists. Pretty good athlete. Uh, he pushes the tempo when he receives the ball and is certainly capable of finding a pass. And then there's Vessel Demico, who is either footed, sees the field well, 
a composed player that works hard and I describe aptly as a space eater. He is not somebody that is nearly as ball dominant as the other two guys and is somebody that occupies space and looks to take away minutes in the game. Paul said yield is 64%. It's a democracy. And my actual logic behind this decision, we are taking Christian Yildiz to the World Cup with us, is if it is this even, and I cannot logic my way out of it, we're going to do what's better for our club, and that is bringing Christian Yildiz to the World Cup. So who made it? Portimazabi is going. Witiatin Sami Pak is going to the World Cup. Axel Perez and Julio Cesar Benegas are going. Yes! But hey, guys, that's huge. Vanderhorst and Joe, Pe Joe Peterson made it. Joe Peterson made it. He's on the U.S. team at the World Cup as a backup fullback on either side. It's his versatility. It's got to be his versatility. Yield is at Arling, obviously, with us. Hinneman and Mbamba with Belgium. Bube with France. Torbjornsson with Norway. Big Fernando Novaish stuck with the Portuguese team. Volkvist is going with Sweden. Richardson is going with the Aussies, coming off of his injury. Wow. Wow. Trujillo made it. Quint oh. Quintero didn't make it, but Gian Trujillo did make the Colombian national team for the World Cup. That's nice. Mark Aaron Wolf didn't get called up for the preliminary German squad, no. And of course, Nazgul's like Ecuador's best center back. He's going. Garzon's a regular in the Colombian national team. We knew he was going. Trujillo's a bit of a surprise. Okay. Last match of the year. Let's make it a good one. Uh, Given Marquez, bag some goals, dude. If we want to do... Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. Okay. Don't know who we're going to sub. Really depends on who's not playing well, I think. Last match of the season is away to Sturmgratz. This is the only match we've lost all year. Was away to Sturmgratz the last time we had to play it. I expect nothing but a win. is bright Jan Trujillo he's just been announced as part of the Colombian World Cup squad and that is why he's dripping talent out of his ears what a strike the keeper's nowhere near that one here we go oh no who's giving no who's giving Oh, it was given. Come on. He's in. He's in. Great ball to Given. Oh, it hits the post. Oh, who played that pass, though? How can I not find this? Oh, here. It was Perez. That's all I wanted to know is who made the pass. It was a great pass. Oh, Given. He had greatness on his on the tip of his boots. The Fletchen. Good ball. Trujillo, Henneman, he's got Given. No, it's Axel Perez. Why is it Perez? Why? Oh, Devletchen, yes, Devletchen. No, it's Trujillo. Great goal, though. Jan Trujillo's like, yo, coach, you better play me in those Columbia matches right now. He's he's showing out. Has Vanderplas has been this season? Oh, oh, it's Given. No. No! Oh, his chance to be the all-time leading goal scorer in a season is gone. Oh, no. And he ties Mate Balas at 30 goals in a season. Pablo Rodriguez's illustrious career is done. He scored one more goal than Shao Oliveira. And he claps off the away fans as he comes off the bench and gives them one of these. Even Marquez right there. Right there. I get the feeling that the end of this season is a bit of an end of an era. Right? This is a bit of an end of an era. And um, we have a lot of players on loan. A lot of great young players that are coming back. And there will be a lot of new faces and a lot of new names on this team. And a lot of guys that you might have fallen in love with this season that aren't going to be kicking the ball with us next year.